Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the gate that comes included with Studio One. Now, I've been through quite a lot of different gates with all the plugins that I've got that come from different manufacturers. And to be honest, this is one of the best gates that I've ever used. Let's get started. Let's have a listen to the drums that I'm gonna be working with today. And specifically, I'm gonna be concentrating on the snare top. So as you can hear, the snare top has some bleed from some other parts of the drum kit. So you can hear the kick drum, and you can also hear the hi-hats as well. So I'm gonna try and remove that by using the gate. The first thing I wanna do is to click on the look ahead button. That's gonna create a two millisecond look ahead for the plugin to look at what's gonna come before the gate triggers. And the next thing that I need to do is to control the range. So this is the amount of decibels that the gate is gonna reduce the background noise by. So let's bring that at the moment down to about, say, 28 dB around there somewhere. Let's have a listen. Right, let's have a look at the threshold controls and let's increase the open threshold. And just before And there we go, about 30 dB. Right, let's bring up the threshold close. As you can see, that makes it really snappy. And I reckon around there somewhere. Right, as we're using drums, I want the attack to be on its fastest. So let's bring it all the way back. and just bring the release up a bit, just to make it sound a bit more natural. And let's increase the whole time. Let's get all the way up. And bring it back. So now you can hear I've got a really clean snare drum that I can then EQ and process as much as I want. So I'm Paul from Production Expert. I hope that video helped and I'll see you guys next time. 